Hello friends and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll explore the different methods to play only up on your Mac. Methods that will be explained next are crossover combined with Apple's game porting toolkit and bootcamp. Let's get started. Both crossover and the game porting toolkit work fine separately, but it's the fusing of the two that results in the best way to play games locally on your Mac. When used separately, Crossover isn't able to run DirectX 12 games, and the Apple's toolkit is very difficult to work with, requiring extensive use of the terminal commands, not to mention annoying bugs such as Steam not opening properly. Using these tools together with the help of the CX Patcher app gives you the best of both worlds, providing extensive game compatibility and a user-friendly interface with much fewer bugs. To play only up using Crossover together with the game porting toolkit, First, you'll need to install macOS Sonoma on your Mac, or else the toolkit won't work properly. And since Sonoma is still in a beta state, we recommend installing it in a separate volume. To do that, first follow the Sonoma download link in the description and download its latest version. While the Sonoma installer is downloading, go to Applications, Utilities, and open the Disk Utility app. Then select your Mac's container from the left, click the plus volume button, and choose a name. Then click Add, and once the volume is created, click Done. Next, when the Sonoma installer downloads, open it, follow the prompts, and change the installation location to the new Sonoma volume. Once it's complete, go to the application folder of the Sonoma volume and find an app named Install macOS Sonoma. Double click that app, click Continue, then Agree, click the Show All Disks button to see all your partitions, and change the installation location to the Sonoma volume. When in Sonoma, download Crossover and install it on your Mac. As a courtesy to our viewers, you will get a 10% off the purchase price if you use the affiliate link in the description. You can also choose a 14-day free trial in case you want to just take it for a spin before deciding whether to commit to the service. Okay, now we'll need to download the latest version of the Game Porting Toolkit and CX Patcher. Links are available below. Open the downloaded toolkit file to mount it. Now minimize its folder then extract the contents of the CX Patcher zip file and relocate the extracted app to the Applications folder. Next, open the Patcher. If it won't open, type this command in the terminal. Then drag and drop the CX Patcher icon into the terminal and run the command. Then enable both of these options and click on Locate External Resources. Then select the Toolkit drive from the left, open it, and drag and drop the Crossover app into the Patcher. You should now see a note saying that Crossover has been successfully patched which means that you can now run DirectX 12 games in it. All that's left to do now is create a new crossover bottle, disable the DXVK feature, then download Steam and install the game. After that, you can launch only up through Steam as if you're on a Windows PC. Bootcamp lets you install Windows in a separate partition only on an Intel Mac. This is a viable method that ensures full compatibility with all Windows software, including only up, but it requires a ton of storage space and quite a bit of time to set up. The plus side is, it lets you use all your Mac's resources for the game, but the computer will still need to meet the game system requirements. So if you own an Intel based machine, have enough storage to accommodate two operating systems, and you're willing to spend a couple of hours to get everything ready, you can give it a try. To use Bootcamp, First, download a Windows 10 64-bit file from Microsoft, and then go to your Utilities folder and start the Bootcamp Assistant tab. Load the Windows file in it, and give enough space for the Windows partition, say around 50 to 80 gigabytes, leaving at least 20 gigabytes for your Mac OS, and then launch the installation. Your Mac will restart, and then you must follow the prompts to install Windows. Once you get the product key screen, simply click I don't have a product key option to continue. Once Windows is finally ready, update your drives and install any missing Windows updates, and you're ready to go. All that's left to do at this point is to download the game like you would on a regular Windows PC, and it should run without any compatibility issues. So those were all the methods for playing only up on Mac that we found and tested. We hope that this video will help you have fun on your Apple machine. Tell us in the comments if you tried any of the suggested methods and share your experience with them. Also, if you have any questions or need help with any of our guides, don't hesitate to request our aid, and we'll help you to the best of our abilities. For more similar guides and other Mac gaming content, smash the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.